Hello, in this video I will show the compass calibration process through the Android app. Additionally, and in parallel, I will check the information sent through the serial interface as an additional source of information along the process. This is not required but useful. So, I start the serial interface, as you see, and the system starts providing all data along the setup process tries to calibrate, in this case it could calibrate with the recorded data, recorded data sorry. and in the app we can press the connect button here it is it starts connecting the app with the autopilot and when it gets it, it presents the first, the main screen. We go to the next, next, and then compass calibration, and we press the start calibration button. The calibration process starts, and the upper left light turns green. We can see one light for its sensor calibration status. The gravity sensor is the G light, the acceleration sensor is the A light, and the magnetic sensor, which is the M light. The S light stands for system overall status. When all four are in status 3 or, or green, the system is calibrated and the compass data is accurate. Coming back to the serial interface data, we see what happens when starting the calibration process. When we press the calibration start button, the system resets and this time does not load the safe calibration data if there was any. And just after setup, it confirms that we are in a IMU calibration mode and starts uh, delivering messages PMC number 12, providing information of each calibration status from 0 to 3, as we could see here. So, we have to uh, follow the calibration procedure described in the, uh, uh, in the bottom of the screen. So, in order to do so, uh, you have to take the um, Phoenix uh, Autopilot uh, unit and perform some uh, movements to get all four calibration status in green. Then the system will detect that we have reached this situation and will start providing X, Y and Z uh, data to check. As you can see, the movements that we have to perform to uh, calibrate the magnetometer is to perform some aids with the unit and you will see in the uh, serial interface data that the uh, magnetometer and other sensors start to go from 0 to 3 as well. In order to calibrate the accelerometer we have to stand still the unit in different uh, positions for a couple of seconds. So. In parallel, you have to check the accelerator calibration status, and once it gets uh, number three, uh, this uh, sensor is calibrated. In this case, this is the only one remaining, and it will take a bit time. Now it is, everything is calibrated. And now it gets into the checking state and um, checking mode so you can see the X, Y, and Z um, values. The check um, mode will last for a few seconds, and uh, finally, uh, the system will go back to the standby mode and will show the bearing. 
now the system is calibrated but in order to get stable um, readings and to ensure that um, it's uh, heading uh, north um, it's recommended to take a compass and check that uh, the readings of the of the autopilot are um, aligned with the compass uh, readings so check all the different uh, orientations it's also very useful to ensure the that the compass um, the is um, stable to check in different um, orientations and you will see that sometimes the system uh, status goes to zero or some of the sensors goes to zero so move slightly around that orientation until the um, all the sensors gets to three again a last recommendation is that uh, you should perform this process as close as the final place where the um, autopilot will be placed in the boat as possible also don't forget to save at the end